Hello, my name is Haley. My husband Jacob and I own Fabian Flower Farm and we just moved to a new property. This is a first for us in regards to a lot of things. This is the first time farming. We are new to sharing on YouTube. This is gonna be our first episode. So we moved to this property about four months ago it is six acres in size. We have two acres in front of the house where we are hoping to grow flowers and be uh, you know, a cut flower farm here in Olympia, Washington. We used to live just down the road and that was a one and a half acre property, but it was on a slope. So we started looking for a different property and lo and behold, we found it. We have a lot of work to do. There's no irrigation out here in this giant field. There's no fence here, which we have a couple dogs and um, we have predators that we want to keep out. This was previously farmed for strawberries many, many years ago, so we've heard. And so the soil has a lot of amending to do. So for this first episode, we just kind of wanted to give you a tour and show you the new property, show you a couple of the projects that we're working on. And then as we go on, we'll have some more episodes to talk about our soil testing, laying irrigation in the field, peonies as well, and fencing. So there's tons of stuff that we're going to cover and we're happy to have you here. So this is the two acre kind of field out in front of our house. Here is where we plan to make our flower field dreams come true. This white tank is how we irrigate this lot right in front of us. We have a little pump right here, a little motor that pumps the water from this white tank out. And then we have the never sink risers that we use to of water. They're not hooked up right now because we had to mow over here, but I'll show you a little video of those working. So here you can see the sprinkler. This is the Centennial kit. It covers 3,000 square feet and it runs off of really low pressure. So as low as 10 psi, which is incredible. This parcel is made up of 16 beds. Each bed is 50 feet in length. We tilled and made these beds right when we moved in just so we could get our dahlias in the ground. So the plan is, is that we will expand and make more beds and that the field eventually will have lots of flowers. But to do that, we also need to expand the irrigation and use that big sucker over there. So this giant water tank right here, this is a 5,000 gallon tank. We purchased this locally in Yelm and actually Jacob put it on his truck and managed to drive it home. So we saved ourselves a little bit of money in a delivery fee, but this is going to be part of our irrigation system for the field. The plan is we will put that tank on the side right here of the pole barn. We're gonna lay a big kind of gravel pad and where you see this white line in the ground we're going to trench out right here and connect water line to the tank over there and then this will feed out to the field so we can irrigate everything i wanted to take a little video of the finished product of all the di digging work trencher that Jacob did. So the clip that we just kind of showed, showed when we had marked this out with paint and now we have this all dug out so we can get the irrigation lines dropped in. So on the back side of our house there is four acres and it is overgrown with blackberries. There's some woods and our property actually butts up to protected wetland. So eventually we hope to do something, maybe have a little orchard or a pond or something in the back. 
but for now our focus is just getting this two acre field uh, or our flowers set up in the front of the property. And a couple last things I'm thinking of sharing before we wrap this up. We can show you the pole barn that we have and one of the big reasons why we were also attracted to this property was for what is in the pole barn and we'll see from there. So when we came to look at this property, we came and, you know, looked in this pole barn and one of the first, you know, thing I noticed about it was there was this room in here. And since we've dabbled in flower farming previously, we have learned one of the best investments to make kind of early on is, is a cooler. It doesn't have to be a walk-in cooler, but a place to put your flowers to keep them cool, they just last a lot longer. So upon checking out this property, there's this large room that is in our pole barn and it was previously used as an office, but it is perfectly set up so we can put a cool bot in here. And for those of you that don't know what a cool bot is, is this little sucker right here where it hooks up to an AC unit, which we actually have an AC unit tucked back there. It hooks up to an AC unit and it gets it to run at a cooler temperature and it can make a walk-in cooler on a much smaller budget rather than having to buy these huge expensive coolers. So once we get to all these projects, we will absolutely be sharing and taking you along for all of that. But this is a nice spacious room. We got some racks in here where I just have stuff stored right now. There's my little table where I wrap bouquets. So yeah, this was a huge, huge win for this property. Something else that we eventually will go into more detail about in a later episode is getting our soil tested. I just kind of wanted to show a little clip and show you guys what our plants are currently doing. So again, the only thing that we're really focusing on growing this year are dahlia tubers because we had to get them in the ground so that they wouldn't rot. And we just wanna you know, make sure that they stay healthy and they keep producing. So we put them in the ground. As you can see, a lot of our dahlias are very, very short. There's a couple factors to why. One of the big factors is because we moved here in May, which was prime planting time, and we didn't get these in the ground until June. So we were a little late. But the other big reason why our plants are all stunted is because our soil is, it needs a lot of amending. So eventually we'll have an episode for you guys talking about sending soil samples in, how we took our soil samples, and what our results were. Uh, and also kind of the program that we're gonna follow to amend it. Well, I think that at least kind of covers for now. There's so much that we have going on. I really just wanted to show you guys around, tell you what our plan is, and from here on out, you know, we'll be taking you along for as many of the projects as we can. Both my husband and I have full-time jobs outside of this. Eventually, we would love for our property to be our main source of income and to not have to work full time. But Fabian Flower Farm is our it's our side hustle that we are hoping to become our main hustle. And it's not easy, you know, on top of us having a family, it's not easy finding time to do all this. So. We hope to create as much content as possible and to take you guys along for the ride. But if you have any recommendations for content, like what you would like to hear us talk about or share, definitely leave a comment below. And again, thanks for being here and we can't wait to share more. Hi, my name is... I'm Haley. Um, babe, what's this weed called? Scotch broom. Jesus, I don't know how I can forget that stuff. I'll go talk under the tree. That'll look nice. <laughs>